David R. here. Today I'm going to talk to you about this course, The Art of Teaching, Best Practices from a Master Educator, from the Great Courses. This lecturer was Professor Patrick N. Allett, and uh, he is a professor at Emory University. He seemed like a pretty good guy. This course offers tips and techniques for teachers or even people who want to be teachers. For instance, you have to be a good learner before you can become a good teacher. Or you have to be able to educate yourself first before you can educate others. Another thing he offers is a really good tip, I think. You have students write their name on a sheet of paper or a note card or something like that and they hold it in front of themselves, teacher takes a picture of them, and then when he gets to his office or her office, you, you print out the picture, and uh, you, can, you can see the, the face and the name so that you don't get things confused or you're not calling some student like him, hey, you, or him over there, or you, or <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're calling them by their name. Another thing he mentions is that you want to get students involved in the subject right away. You want to get their enthusiasm up. Even if the class is statistics, you want to make it interesting. Even if it isn't that interesting, right? Like statistics, I mean, come on. But I guess it could be made interesting. He says another thing is teachers should be able to watch themselves on video so that they can see what they are doing wrong or right. Some teachers use their hands too much or they, um, you know, they uh, have verbal tics, <laughs> which can be annoying. <laughs> right? I use that one sometimes, like, right? He says that teachers should be able to scrutinize themselves. They should be able to, you know, figure out a way to improve upon what they're doing and not be afraid of what they see. Because maybe some teachers are like, ah, I'm doing good, I don't need to improve. But then they watch themselves and uh, you know, maybe they do need to improve. I think so. He says, vary your sentence length. Don't, you don't always have to speak in long sentences. You can cut them up a little bit, maybe some short, some long, maybe your intonation can be high or low. It just depends, kind of mix things up. He says also don't read your lecture. You want to speak it because the lectures are spoken. They're not read. I had a teacher one time who sat at the desk in front of the class and just read the lectures. Read right out of the book. It was terrible. It was, uh, it was mind-numbingly uh, slow and boring, especially boring. He says, make students aware of the rules of the class, and, then, and if they break them, there's some kind of punishment. Another thing is keep office hours. He says, like, the best students or the worst students come to office hours. It's never usually those in between, I guess. The best ones want to maintain their greatness, and the worst ones want to become better, or at least pass the class. I, I've been there before. <laughs> so, uh, another thing is don't overuse technology, uh, PowerPoint especially. And don't be afraid to use low-tech technology, or afraid to go low-tech, <laughs> like using a dry erase board or a flip chart. Because what would happen if somehow you lost your PowerPoint or you know, maybe the uh, electricity went out and, and you're speaking to the class with a, a window like this with a bunch of sun coming in <laughs> and, and all you have is a dry erase board. Then use it. You, sh you shouldn't be afraid to use that. He also proposes some writing exercises. One of them is writing a paper with sentences of 10 words or less. 
or a paper with um, one to two syllable words or even a paper with no adjectives try that I've never I've never done it but I think it would be interesting he says teach students to give better presentations you know maybe they go through a dry run in your office and then like in this course he took the note cards away from the student he said give me your note cards and then now do it and so the student did it <laughs> and I think the student did better without the note cards it's just my opinion another thing he discusses is like one-on-one -on -one learning exams in class take home oral exam you know oral exam might be for a language class he also mentions evaluations feedback he says that teachers need to keep up with changes in, in education or changes in their field or even changes in the world, changes in technology. You need to keep up. Teachers need to be a lifelong learner themselves. He says survival of civilization depends on teachers. He even mentions teachers like Jesus, Socrates. Um, these guys were revolutionary teachers. In conclusion, this course offers a lot of variety. There's a lot to choose from. There's also interviews. So Patrick shares the spotlight with other teachers that he interviews throughout. And they offer what they do. You know, their teaching techniques or they're shown teaching in class. It's, it's, it's nice. I do think that Patrick, he could probably improve upon his his performances he, he looks down a lot like this you know like he's looking down there are a few uncomfortable silences going on in here but overall I think I think uh, you can't go wrong with these I want to eventually start teaching English in maybe Panama or somewhere and uh, that's the reason I got this this course here because I want to learn about different techniques and uh, I I I think it's useful. Anyway, that's all I got. Talk to you later. Bye.